Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, it was announced finally as Microsoft started Ignite today. Uh, one of the things we were thinking and waiting for was the cloud PC side of Windows. Microsoft was to announce this. And it was officially announced it's going to be called Windows 365. So for some of you that know what a Microsoft 365 is all about, uh, Office 365, different subscription services that are available. But this is different. Uh, it is a subscription service, of course. It will be per user per month. And it is, uh, as they state, a uh, online experience that runs on pretty much anything. We talked about uh, that a little bit like a few days ago. And a lot of you were asking questions and, you know, what does it mean? And Actually, it means your browser is becoming the center point of what's happening. And, and it's going to be more and more prevalent over the next months and years with different services that will be cloud only. So Windows 365, Microsoft says, is going to be available for enterprise. It will be available for um, education also. It's a way of getting the Windows, full Windows experience without really needing a big machine running Windows at your end. What it is, is simply a way to see Windows, work with Windows. It's going to look like, you know, you're in Windows. You're just going to have a mouse and a keyboard and you'll be using it as if you were using Windows in your home, except it's in the Azure cloud services that is going to happen. They were talking about how this is an instant Windows, meaning as soon as you connect to your account, the Windows desktop is there. There's no loading time waiting for anything. It's going to be at where you were, what you were doing. All the things that you were working on will still be there. Everything will just stay. Uh, and um, you'll be able to, of course, use it on Linux, on Mac, on Android on, of course, a Windows PC, um, and any device basically that will have the capability of connecting to the web and browsing will technically be almost all possible to use this. Um, you know, I was talking about smart TVs. I could see, you know, the, the smart TVs of the, uh, the, the that will be coming out that you can use the browser if it's good enough in that TV to connect to that and and you'll have a Windows PC without having to buy a PC. No consumer level version of this as uh, there is no uh, really no need for that in the consumer. You know, no consumers are going to go and pay monthly fees for Windows if they can have Windows in their PC for free or, or whatever. It's available in the form of Windows 10. It's available in the form of Windows 11. And it will start uh, in August. So starting this August, you will already be able, if you're in business, to log into this and work. Um, no uh, pricing point as of now, but um, like I said, it's per user per month. Of course, big enterprise, big companies will have probably some rebates and be able to negotiate you know, bulk prices for their systems. But it's a start in um, having basically, you know, subscription services to Windows for enterprise without having the need to buy PCs all the time. And um, for those who are talking, well, you know, more money because it's a subscription. Enterprise is already in the subscription mode. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. But Windows, who makes what makes the most money for Windows? It's the enterprise. Why? Because the enterprise is having the uh, money to actually pay and to uh, go into subscription. And already, Windows is a subscription mode for the big gun businesses out there. So this is not necessarily going to be different. It's just that instead of having to also buy big, powerful or more powerful PCs all the time, just something that connects to the web will work. And there will be no need to upgrade that because it will always work as long as there's a browser and a connection to the internet. So this is coming, and it's going to be interesting to see what uh, comes out of this um, and how it's going to work. Of course, 
there's some customization that are available. There's some um, most of of what you know enterprise do is very standard. So you'll have access to you know Office, uh, Word, Excel, and all of that. You'll have access to a lot of powerful tools, but without the need for a powerful PC to run it. Uh, so that was announced today. It's official, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this will progress over time to see how many businesses actually jump to that um, you know, cloud era of PC thing. Of course, they are talking a lot about security and how this is going to be even more secure than using Windows on your computer and so on. Um, that's to see. <laughs> well, the, you know, this world is a complex world today, especially with all the hackers trying to, uh, to get out there. But it's a start, and uh, this will be mostly big, big businesses and and maybe schools or stuff like that because I don't really see um, you know small enterprise will have the regular versions of Windows, which is much more uh, interesting for them than having some subscription form. But the big enterprise that already are in subscription form with Microsoft services, this could be a very tempting offer uh, for the future. Um, and of course, some of you will probably say, well, do consumers, will consumers one day have to pay for Windows in a monthly? I don't think that will ever happen for consumers, honestly, because the consumer market for Windows is very, very different from the business market. And an example of that is if it was the case, then Windows 11 would not be free to Windows 10 users. It shows you that in the uh, consumer market, uh, things are rather... Um, you know, they are going to stay free or, or very low priced, uh, basically, because um, I don't think I, you know, there's no future for Windows subscription for consumers themselves. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.